Indoor high school sports in New York are now back in action, but with many of those sports players are in close contact with each other, raising the risk of infection. So how do districts keep students safe and are the rules and protocols strict enough? Here's Eyewitness News reporter Stacey Sager. Varsity wrestling here in Manhasset, where the student athletes and their coaches have been wrestling with far more than their opponents on the mat. There are pods drawn here for six feet of separation, an open door, set partners, and masks under their headgear. Is it easy? No. If you take the mask off, the opponent from another school may, may not want to wrestle you. Uh, so that's something you have to deal with also. Eyes up, see the floor. In basketball as well. And no spectators, just cameras for live streamed games. But these are only a few of the guidelines for high risk school sports during the pandemic. Here in Manhasset, the athletes get weekly mandatory PCR tests for COVID. And all student athletes must do remote learning till the end of their shortened season. But for senior Emma Lopinto, the joy of this game makes it worth it. Amazing. I mean, I've waited since last March. I was the first thing on my mind. And for varsity wrestler Jack McCusker, wearing a mask is the least of it. This year, we're missing the state tournament, the county tournament. Uh, I had ambitions to be a state champion and a county champion, so that was definitely tough. But overall, Manhasset's doing well compared to others. So far in Nassau, 10 basketball games postponed due to COVID. And in Suffolk County, more than a dozen high school teams reportedly in quarantine. But safety off the court is also a very big concern, and all of these athletes have been made well aware of how to behave outside of school. And so while the girls basketball team only has 11 players, Players instead of 33. A mix of emotions, of course. Um, there's some nervousness. They're learning not to look back anymore. Instead, to embrace these moments day by day. In Manhasset, I'm Stacey Sager, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.